Now, today marks a milestone for the Rolling Stones. 50 years ago, they played their first ever gig at the Marquee Club in London. The Stones went on to become one of the world's most popular rock bands, topping the charts with hits like Satisfaction and Paint It Black. Frontman, Sir Mick Jag and guitarist Keith Richards met up with our arts editor, Will Gomberts, for a chat about their five decades in music. It, it looks so long ago. I mean, you know, how could it be? The boys give an impromptu press conference. And if the reporters get much out of them, they'll be lucky. Nobody ever expected anything like this, especially in those days. A band, they was lucky to live two or three years. And uh, you hoped for a good time, and that was that, you know. People had already come and gone in the rock world. Um, by the time we were sort of popular, it was only really Elvis and the Beatles that were the biggest, they were the biggest things that ever, ever happened in pop music. But even he had lasted perhaps, okay, less than 10 years. So you couldn't really think, you know, even being as big as Elvis impossible thought, so how could anyone really last? Most marriages don't last for 50 years. Most businesses don't last for 50 years. What is it at the centre of that core? Well, Which what works? can it be? I can, I can only presume the music as the basic glue of the whole thing. And also that it's damn fun, man, you know? <laughs> I mean, where else are you going to get a job like this, you know? <laughs> Has it always been fun? It must come. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, it's, sometimes it's hard work and, uh, you know, and you wonder why the hell you're doing it. But uh, apart from those few moments, it's been an incredible adventure. I can't really think of any real regrets. I mean, I regret Brian dying, you know, I mean, that was a, a real shock. It was like, hey, Brian, how dare you leave the band, you know. But, because uh, we were very, all very close. But as far as, I can't really regret, I mean, I'd go through the hard times again, just to keep things as they are. You know? Everyone gets used to looking at old pigs themselves, so, I mean, I recognise these. But the person is still the same person, you know, the core of the person is still pretty much the same, I'd say. Despite the kind of all the years that have passed and everything, I think I've come through it pretty unscathed. I'm not sure about everybody else. <laughs> when will you next perform again, do you think? Um, there's things in the works, so there's, nothing, there's nothing so final that I could say. You mm. know, uh, we're playing around with the idea and we've had a couple of rehearsals we got together lately and it feels so good I think soon I can, what can I say it, it, it's pretty I, think, but I think it's definitely happening but when I can't say it so give me all your money give me all your gold how would you describe the Rolling Stones fascinating and raunchy yeah. keep them that way So Keith Richards said when, not if. Didn't he? When they get together. Fantastic.